My name is Dr. George Rubais. I'm an internal medicine-based physician and board certified in internal medicine, but also subspecialty trained in both pulmonary medicine as well as critical care medicine. I'm one physician of a group of approximately 18 physicians, and our group, known as Community Pulmonary and Critical Care Medicine, we take care of most of the inpatients who are fairly sick at Community North, as well as Community East Hospitals. We also take care of outpatients predominantly for pulmonary diseases. Uh, we have a uh, couple physicians who do sleep medicine. So as a group, we encompass internal medicine, pulmonary critical care, as well as sleep medicine. We tend to be involved in the care of the sicker patients rather than the straightforward cases. Our latest introduction of technology has been what we call EBUS, that's E-B-U-S, or endobronchial ultrasound. And what this procedure uh, allows us is to identify tumors that are within the chest but not directly visible in the bronchial tubes or the trachea. Just to orient you, this is a copy of a CAT scan. This is an image obtained in the middle of the chest. This would be the patient's back, this would be the patient's front, this would be the right side, and this would be the left side. Everything that is densely black is, represents the lungs. These two black spots there represents the airway, and this is the airway to the right lung, what we call going towards the right upper lobe. In this image, everything that is gray is tumor here, and everything that is lighter gray or whitish is a blood vessel, and you can see that this, in this case, the tumor is wrapped around the airway as well as the blood vessel. The traditional way of trying to obtain a biopsy from a tumor such as this one is perhaps to try to stick a needle between the ribs into the tumor. You can see that there are lots of blood vessels here. This may, re re may result in bleeding. And this will definitely puncture the lung and may re result in a collapsed lung. The other way that we have done in the past would be to go in this airway and somewhat hope that we don't hit a blood vessel and stick a needle in. Now, under ultrascopic guidance, we can tunnel through the scope into that airway and we can exactly see where these blood vessels are and where the, lung, the tumor starts and where the tumor ends. And under guidance, we stick a needle right in the center of that tumor. This allows us to obtain a diagnosis very quickly that has a very high likelihood of being diagnostic. Our success rate in establishing a diagnosis is approximately 85%. And this procedure will allow us to make a diagnosis in a very quick manner because I have the pathologist standing at the bedside of the patient while I'm doing the procedure. While we obtain a specimen number one, the pathologist looks at it under the microscope. If the diagnosis is established, we may stop there, but typically it takes three, four, or five separate samples until we're sure we've sampled every single gray area that you can see here. This is done safely, with so far we have not had a single complication that was serious. We had a patient who came in who was extremely short of breath and we knew from the CAT scan that there is a high likelihood of lung cancer. With the bronchoscopic ultrasound, that EBUS procedure that I just described to you, we're able to bring the patient down to this suite. Uh, within an hour or two, we're able to obtain a diagnosis. The pathologist at the bedside confirmed with diagnosis of small cell lung cancer, which is a very aggressive form of tumor. Within four hours after making the diagnosis, the patient had consented to being given chemotherapy and started on treatment. Two to three days later, her airway improved dramatically. We were able to send her home without any complication and right now she is still getting her outpatient chemotherapy and is doing fine. She was able to enjoy the holidays at home. Sometimes patients call us directly, though we almost always prefer having a referring primary care physician calling our office or making initiating a referral. I'm proud to be affiliated with this uh, institution. What I have seen over the past 10 to 12 years is dramatic improvement in patient delivery, patient care. Community hospital is patient-centric. They really care about patient outcome and safety and uh, we continue to thrive towards improving our quality of care.